Hey, how's it going? Today I'll show you how to get the GSC IPTV player to your Fire Stick or Android TV. The whole process is super easy and will take you only a couple of minutes. First of all, you'll have to get an app called Unloader. You can actually get it for free from the official Amazon App Store. To so, just go to search on your device and start typing the loader in the search bar. And as you can see, the loader has already popped out for us at the bottom. So we click on the loader and that's the app which you need to get to your device. But after you get the loader, it's not over yet. We still have to set it up. So in order to actually set up the loader, we'll need to go to the settings on your device by clicking on that button with the gear icon. Then we have to scroll down and go to My Fire TV. Let's open it. And from here, you'll have to turn on the developer options on your device. But on some Fire Sticks, and especially on the new Fire Stick devices, the developer options can be hidden by default. So if that's the case and you cannot find developer options anywhere, no need to worry, it's actually easy to make them appear. You just go to About, select Fire TV Stick, and now you have to click on the middle button on your remote for seven times and do it fast. So let's do it. And as you can see now for me at the bottom, it says no need, you are already a developer. That's in my case. And in your case, it's going to say that you have become a developer now. So if you go back a bit, you will finally see developer options, which have appeared for me right here. Let's open them. Turn on the ADP debugging, then go to install unknown apps. From here, you'll have to locate the loader and just turn that option on. So what it does, it's going to allow you to install other applications from the internet and not necessarily only those apps, which are only available in the official Amazon App Store by default. And that's exactly what we're going to do right now. So now, finally, we gotta go to the list of apps on your device, which is right here. And there you'll find the loader, which is set up and ready to use on your device. But before actually using the loader, there's one more thing which you always recommend doing. It's of course connecting to a VPN. In my case, I mostly use NordVPN because they're super fast. They got a great app for Fire Sticks, Android TVs, phones, laptops, or pretty much any other device you may use. And they are not expensive for such a premium service. In fact, they cost less than a cup of coffee per month, which is great pricing for us, the users. In a VPN app, you just connect to any server, let's say I will connect to Canada right now, and from the moment you connect, all oh, your traffic is going to be totally encrypted. It means no one can track you or snoop on you online, and that's really important if you want to stay out of trouble. And if you don't have a VPN yet, but you want to try it out, I do have a great offer for you. If you use my link, which will be in a pinned comment below the video, or in the description of the video, you'll get 3 months of NordVPN totally for free, which is an amazing offer. And if you're watching this video on your TV or on your Fire Stick, then just grab your phone or your computer, open up a web browser and go to topvpnoffer.com. That's my website, which is going to give you the same amazing deal for NordVPN, with 3 months for free. Or just scan the QR code, which you can see on the screen right now with a camera of your phone. It works the same way and it's also going to give you the same deal for Nord. And now, finally, let's use the loader safely. So let's open up the loader and wait until the app loads for you. Then, on the left side menu, it's very important that you click on Home and not on Browser. And after that, in the search bar, we'll need to enter a code, which is going to be 2983433. Four. So once again, the code is 298-344, make sure to enter it exactly as you see and do not make any mistakes. Then you gotta click on go and while the website is loading, make sure to subscribe to my channel so you would get even more content about Fire Sticks. As well as please hit the like button below this video. It truly really helps me a lot and this way I'll be able to create even more videos for you. And now after the website has opened, we just scroll it down until we find the GSC Smart IPTV Player right here. Let's click on it. And a couple of moments, the download should start. Usually it doesn't take long, but of course, it all depends on your connection speed. In my case, I got a pretty fast connection, so it will take just a couple of seconds. Then you have to click on Install and wait until GSC IPTV gets installed to your Fire Stick 
or Android TV device, depending on what kind of device you are using. And then don't click on open yet, instead press on done, because this way we'll be able to actually delete the installation files, as we don't need them anymore on your device. So click on delete, and then delete once again. This way you get rid of unnecessary files from your Fire Stick and save yourself some free space on your Fire TV. Then finally, let's go to the list of apps on your device, which is right here, and there you'll find the GSC IPTV, which we just downloaded. Now, I would recommend you to click on the Options button on your remote, that's the button with three horizontal lines. Click on it and then press on Move to Front. This way, the app is always going to be at the very top of your application list, and therefore, it's going to be super easy for you to access the app every time you need it. Enjoy and see you next time. Bye-bye.